Now, that warning that Tyler mentioned of a coming economic hurricane, that's from Jamie Dimon, underscoring concern in the market that the Fed's rate hikes could lead to a recession. CNBC.com's Hugh Sun is following the story. Hugh, where did he make these remarks and in what context? Yeah, so this is at a New York uh, financial conference. And look, I mean, this is only nine days from when Jamie Dimon last addressed investors, the investor community, and said, you know, there are, there are storm clouds that are gathering, but they could dissipate. Now, today, just nine days later, he's really deliberately raising the red flag, saying we're in, the, we're in a calm before storm and that people think that the Fed, uh, you know, can manage through this and handle this. Uh, and clearly, you know, the stock market has, has kind of bought along that narrative. And yet he says that there is a, a storm, a hurricane coming. We don't know how severe it is, but it, it will be a full-blown hur hurricane. Yeah, and the thing, Hugh, that's... Uh Interesting to me is that the markets have been better over the past nine days. Mm -hmm. Rates have been better behaved. And yet, Jamie Dimon himself said, I said there's storm clouds, but I'm going to change it. It's a hurricane. So he has significantly downgraded his assessment of the outlook at the same time the markets actually kind of, I don't want to say upgraded it, but has been more comfortable lately. No, that's certainly the, ca the case. He's downgraded his forecast. You know, what he's looked at specifically is quantitative tightening. Clearly, there's 95 billion, up to 95 billion in, in bond purchases that are going to, you know, get, uh, going to get reversed. You know, the, the balance sheet of the Fed's going to shrink. Uh, you know, he's looking at oil. You know, he's looking at oil at up to $175 a barrel. He's looking at, uh, you know, uh, federal mortgages going up to perhaps, uh, you know, 10 percent delinquency, which would be a huge increase. He's looking at the traditional buyers of U.S. Treasuries uh, essentially, you know, disappearing and pointing to, you know, 10 years ago and the, the response to the last crisis and saying, like, these are the, you know, the purchasers of, of, of U.S. bonds. They helped out last time. They are going to be AWOL this time, according to Diamond. One of the things, Hugh, that, that's very interesting to me is his emphasis on the unwinding of, con uh, of quantitative easing. Uh, which is, is, it is truly, and I hate the cliche, uncharted territory, because we've never been here before. We don't know what the unintended consequences of that, that sopping up of the cash that was flooded into the system is going to imply or mean for businesses and, and human beings. Well, that's certainly what Jamie Dimon's saying. He's saying, you know, investors, as we know, crave certainty. And, you know, here you have, you know, a multi-decade uh, you know, chief of the biggest uh, U.S. bank, you know, and at times the biggest bank in the world by market cap saying, I've never seen this. I don't know what's coming. And by the way, we're bracing ourselves. We're moving, you know, uh, our, our deposits. You know, he said basically he wants to change their capital structure a little bit, move low quality deposits out into things like money markets, perhaps, uh, that they're bracing themselves for this coming storm. And by the way, you better do so as well.